Welcome to Online Safety with Mr. Knowlton. My name is Mr. Knowlton. I'm the computing leader at Demonstrator Shore Primary School, and this video is about age ratings in video games. Now, age ratings have been present in video games for quite a few decades now. Um, they are part of the government, they are government regulated. There are two boards which certify games in the UK that's the ESRB and PEGI or PEGI. Now, on the front of any video game, you will see either one of these two companies with their age ratings on the box, or if you're buying the games digitally, they can be seen on the on the, the video game store on the PlayStation, Xbox, or Switch before you purchase the games. Now, they also come with other warnings present on either the box, within the box, on the back of the box, or on the online store themselves with the consoles that give you ex extra details on why the age ratings have been present. Now, if you do go on our website, there is more information on both the ESRB and the PEGI rating systems where you can see more in detail. Now, there are a few reasons why video games have ratings. There are lots of different kinds of content out there in video games, as there is in TV, film, on the internet, and so on. So the age ratings kind of give you a guide as a parent on what is appropriate for your child at what ages. Now, there's a few reasons why these age ratings are very important. Number one, because in video games you are in fact controlling what is happening in the video game. It can make things feel more realistic, especially to children, uh, actually doing whatever the action is themselves. The second thing is that children like to imitate what they see. If they see dance on YouTube, they like to copy it. If they hear a song, they'll copy it. Um, if they watch a lot of cartoons, they'll copy the words or the silly phrases in those cartoons. So in video games, obviously they're going to try and copy what they see or play in video games. And the third reason is screen addiction. Screen addiction is a growing problem in the modern era and video games is one of the factors. Now, once upon a time, video games used to give you a warning to stop playing after a certain amount of time. That doesn't so much happen these days. It's roughly about half an hour. You should take about a 10 minute break. And any longer you take, a, you shouldn't really be playing longer than an hour. So these are the ratings. The top ones are from Peggy. These ones here and the bottom ones are from ESRB. So PEGI and ESRB are slightly different. PEGI goes from 3, 7, 12, 16 to 18. And they're colour coded to match. They also come with some symbols to easily see what kind of content is in the games. Whether it's bad language, whether it's uh, drugs, uh, some scary gambling. Whether it's older, inappropriate content, violence or your ability to play online with others. ESRB is a little bit different. ESRB goes from everybody, which means any ages, uh, 10 and over, teens, which is roughly about 13, mature, which is 17 and above, and then adult only, so anyone over 18. Now, the issue with age ratings is that even though they exist and they are a warning on for another box or in the video game store, it doesn't actually stop children from playing something that is beyond their age. Once upon a time, if you went into a shop, they used to refuse service unless there was an adult present, but because we live in a digital era, it often means that unless privacy settings or passwords are set, it means children can access any game they want if they have the ability to do so. So please just be careful that passwords are set on any video game store. Again, on our website there are guides in which you can do this. And just make sure that you're discussing with your child what they're playing and have some awareness of what age is on that game and why. Now. In this video, we're going to have a look at a selection of games which are popular, either at the moment or in the last few years, and go through what age ratings are on those games and why. Now, the first game we're going to look at is Fortnite. I know a few weeks ago I did a video all about Fortnite, but because it is the most popular game of the last decade, I'll be honest, it is probably the biggest one to have a look at first. Now, I've covered up, as you can see, the age rating, and I've also put some reasons down here. Before I show you and unveil the age rating, I thought I'd give you a few moments to see if you can have a guess um, and see how close you are to the actual ratings. Now, Fortnite is actually a 12. Now, there are a few reasons why Fortnite is a 12. The primary reason is because you can play online and communicate with others. Any game where you have the ability to go online and communicate with other, other people, especially strangers, it automatically becomes a 12. Now the other reason, like in the video I had a few weeks ago, it is, uh, it has got cartoon violence within it. Even though there is no actual blood, or no one's getting physically injured, there are guns, you can shoot, run people over, attack others, so that automatically puts it also at a 12. Now the final reason is that you have the ability to spend real life money. 
Any game, again, that you are able to spend money automatically puts it to a 12. Now, the next game I wanted to look at is another popular one in the decade, in the last decade, which is Minecraft. I am sure most of you have heard of Minecraft. Alongside it, I've just put Minecraft Dungeon, Dungeons, which is recently being released on PS4, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch, which is directly from the Minecraft franchise. It's just a slightly different game, but they both have the same rating, and I'm sure if your child plays Minecraft, they'll probably want to play Minecraft Dungeons. Again, I'll give you a few moments to see if you can guess the age rating. Now, on Minecraft, there is some level of cartoon violence, so that will have an effect on the age. So, the age rating on Minecraft is a 7. This is the Peggy rating. Now, the core reason why is because, um, A, you can play online. It's not the primary reason for the game, so a lot of it can be played offline. That's the main reason to play the game. There is no main communication online as well, so it doesn't. It doesn't. It, that's the reason why it's not a twelve. But it does have uh, cartoon-style violence. You are able to, in some cartoony fashion, harm and kill other creatures and players. So that does put it at a seven. Now the next game is Fall Guys, which came out this this year and is incredibly popular. Um, I think Fall Guys is an excellent example example of a game perfect. For children. Um, it is online though, so I'll give you a few moments to see if you can work out what age it is. Now the age rating for Fall Guys is actually free plus. Now even though it is online, there is zero methods of communicating with any other person on the actual game itself. So even though you're playing an online game, you're playing it by yourself. Now the game otherwise is cartoony, it is very silly, it is very funny. Um, I think Fall Guys is a perfect example of a game to play for any age. So if your child likes Fortnite but you're a bit unsure about whether they should be playing it, a game like Fortnite, which is a similar online game, but without the violence, without the being able to spend money, without the, viol without the, uh, com the less competitive element of having so many people in one game, Fall Guys is an excellent uh, substitution. Now we're going to have a look at a variety of games which are popular with some children but not others. So the first of all is um, Call of Duty. Now Call of Duty release a game pretty much every year. Um, they are often developed by different people but they all follow very similar themes. They all have the exact same identical age ratings. Um, again, if any of you have played this game as a parent, you might be able to guess the age rating of this game. I'll give you a few moments to see if you can work it out. Now, the game is classed as mature, so that is 17 and above. I think if it was a Peggy rated game, it'd be 18. Now, there are a number of reasons why it is an 18. The number one reason is because it's realistic violence, and there's quite a lot of it. Um, the sole purpose of the game is shooting, shooting real bullets. So, obviously, you'll see real injuries, there is lots of blood. There is lots of other violent nature, there's weapons of all nature in this game. Um, so that is the prime reason why it's an 18. The other reason is it, it's got a lot of inappropriate language in it, but also a lot of the themes and the content that the games are based on are quite inappropriate for children of a very young age. Uh, finally, it is there are, they are all, all online. Most Call of Duty's for the last decade have been able to be played online. And again, they all have voice chats on them so you can communicate with others when you're playing online. Now Spider-Man is a game that came out last uh, last year or two. Um, it's on the PlayStation only, but I think it's a great example of an idea from a superhero franchise which is very popular with children, but is set in a more realistic style where children actually get to control the superhero themselves. So that does reflect on the age rating. So again, I'll give you a few moments to have a look to see if you can work out the age rating. Now the age rating is actually a teen, which means 13 and above, and on Peggy it'll be a 12. Um, there are a number of reasons why. Uh, number one, there is moderate violence. And again, like I said at the start of this video, uh, one of the issues with video games is that you actually have to control the character yourselves. So violence in a cartoon, for instance, where you're just watching it, isn't as realistic as when you're controlling it themselves. Now even though Spider-Man is a superhero, within the video games and modern graphics, it does look very real. And there are some level of blood. Now there are a couple of other reasons. In the game there are some minor amounts of uh, inappropriate language. 
and there are some references to uh, drugs and illegal activities such as that. There are some gangs and some crime elements within the game as well, which often can be quite inappropriate for young children. Now switching to a different console, this is Mario Odyssey that was on uh, Nintendo Switch. Now Mario Odyssey is a fun cartoony game, but I think it's a, an example where if you've not actually played the game yourselves, uh, the age rating can be a little bit confusing. So the age rating of Mario Odyssey is actually um, on ES ESRB is actually a 10 and on Peggy is actually a 7. Now, for some of you who are very familiar with video games, wondering why Mario, how Mario could ever be a 7, um, it's because there are some elements of cartoon violence with Mario jumping on characters' heads, throwing them off cliffs and stuff like that. But also, in this game in particular, it's actually because Mario's in his underpants. And actually, um, that actually boosts the age rating ever so slightly. Most other Mario games are a 3 or everybody, but in this one it is actually a 7 because he's in his underpants. Now this is actually a great example where as a parent you can use your own discretion to kind of have a look into the game first and then decide for yourselves whether you think your child is okay to play this game or not. Now finally I've left the last slide for some video games which personally I feel are quite inappropriate generally. Not just for children but for teenagers and a lot of the ideas and a lot of the concepts and a lot of what you can do in the game are probably inappropriate for quite a lot of adults as well. So these both are 18s or mature in ERCB. Now the reason why they are is because they're both extremely violent games. Um, I'm not going to go into details on what makes them violent but they are just very violent games. Both of them have very inappropriate themes throughout. Um, GTA has loads of, of other inappropriate content such as crime, references to drugs, gambling is recently been put into GTA 5. Both have the ability to play it online, both have the ability to have online communication. Um, personally, I there are some games which I just don't think children of any age until they are over the age of 16 or 18 just should be allowed to play or even be able to see. The content within these games are just really inappropriate and if your children have been playing with them or if they have older brothers or sisters or older friends who play them just maybe be a little bit careful or have a conversation with your child about why these games are inappropriate. As always with my videos I'd like to end with Mr Norton's advice. Uh, first of all, age ratings are there as a guide to support you as parents, to give you advice, to give you a warning about what may be or may not be appropriate for your children. As always, with being a parent, all the decisions on what your child gets to do are completely up to you. These are just there to guide you. Um, if you ever have a game that you are worried about or you want to uh, maybe buy your child but you want to ask for better advice first, you can email the school, I'll be happy to support as I can. There is a website online called Common Sense Media where other parents and children can provide their own advice or provide their own age ratings based on what they've played or watched themselves. It's really good for TV and film as well if you're ever wondering about films. Um, as always in all my videos, please talk to your children about what they're playing, what they're watching, what they're doing, especially going to their friends or, or doing stuff with their older siblings. Sometimes other children don't always think about the fact that younger children might not be watching or playing games of a similar nature. And also please make sure that your uh, consoles are password protected so that children are not just able to purchase games or download games sometimes when they're free, whenever they feel like it. Because again, children might not necessarily understand age ratings or take them into account when they're doing so. Thank you very much. Please email the school if you have any questions. And, and again, as always, our website is full of lots of information about ESRB, P, P, PEGI ratings, and just other general advice about online safety. Thank you very much.